Are you a parent, often finding yourself troubled by the stuff your daughter's watching on Netflix? Hoping you'll come across a YouTuber that's scouring this stupid app, trying to find a movie that's fit for all audiences? Well, good news, fam. You found him. After searching for months and months, I have finally come across a film so useless, with a formula so formulaic, you just gotta wonder why it was made at all. And that film is Girl Haunts Boy. Let's talk about it. From the director of Tall Girl 2 comes her newest, I dare say, film in the genre of put this on in the background while you play something on your phone. <laughs> it's hard to even get through this movie when you do that. This is a film squarely targeted at the youth of today, looking for romance without the romantic entanglements that come along with it. Looking for humor without offending a single person because there's nothing funny at all in this film. Looking for emotion in the most ham-fisted way possible. Girl Hans Boy checks every single box imaginable. Peyton List plays generic ghost girl who died sometime in the 1920s. Michael Camino plays Cole Sanchez, a good-looking teenage boy that has zero interest in the fact that there's a cute girl hanging out in his room 24-7. These two teens, at the height of their libidos, have zero sexual chemistry. These two teenagers are going to spend the majority of the film together making lame jokes, chatting about their sad backstories, and learning that not only is there a big world out there to find, there's also someone right in here to find. Mmm. Powerful stuff. This movie's gonna run an hour 40. It's PG, although I'm not sure why it even has the P in front of it. This is a G film, if you ask me. But in another sense, it's not really a movie for anyone. We open in 1920-something, with a group of kids touring a museum. B. Jenkins ditches the lame tour because she's edgy, and she wants to check out the restricted section. Ooh. This requires her to walk around a sign, and then she's in business. In front of her sets a tantalizing object, a ring. It's actually two rings, it's a pair. And she wants to get up close and personal with it, so she lifts the glass top, pulls the ring out, tries it on. It's gorgeous. It's glowing in the dark. It's a beautiful ring. Unfortunately, a stupid security guard shows up to ruin her fun and demands she join the rest of her crew. A couple lame jokes later, she finds herself outside, not paying attention, as a driver hits her with his car, killing her instantly. At least I think it's instant. We don't actually see, because the movie fades to white. But I'd like to think Jenkins suffered immeasurable pain for several days as the parents cry by her side to get better. No! No! Take me! Not like this. Not like this. But yes, like this. And now we fast forward to present day, where Cole Sanchez is crying in his room over the loss of his father. The man knew his way around a guitar, one that Cole refuses to play in public because it's just too deep of a cut for him. It's not going to take long for him to find that magical ring, though. Try it on and... There's our female protagonist. She informs him that for this house, she's basically the Eye of Sauron, always seen, always awake, always watching sort of thing, which is disturbing uh, because teenage Adam in his bedroom alone, <laughs> let's just say if I believed people were watching over me, probably would have switched up the routine a bit at night. He's taken aback, of course, naturally a ghost is in his room, what the hell's going on in life? So he takes the ring off, she disappears. He puts the ring on, she's back again. Sort of a Frosty the Snowman situation. Except for it's a ring and not a magical hat. I, I'm sure you understood what I meant, but if you watch this film, a little over explanation's probably healthy. <laughs> As of recording, I have just realized that because of where the sun is conveniently positioned, the light is bouncing off of the blinds and hitting random light sources on my body. So not only am I wasting time talking about this mediocre pile of crap, I also might have to reshoot it depending on how this video footage turns out. Or you know what, just screw it. I sat through an hour and 40 minute movie of absolute shit. You can sit through a five or six minute review. You'll be all right. And I think that's probably a good place to wrap it up. Nothing here worth watching. All right, you have a couple teenagers wandering through scenes. The acting is incredibly stilted. It feels like nothing's natural about any of it. The conversations are just you talk, then I talk. We're reading lines off dialogue. It doesn't feel natural. Zero chemistry. From a cinematography standpoint, it feels like a made-for-TV movie. Well, it feels like a Netflix movie, basically. The music is corny Hallmark trash. Dun, ding, dun, ding, dun, ding.
That's the whole movie. Wait, what? You're a ghost? Yeah, I've been living here for, wait, how long have I been here? Um, like 100 years? What? I didn't know that. I also didn't notice that during my 100 years of boredom here, that people's clothing were changing, that cars were changing, that the house was constantly reconstructed, that the ring is the reason why I can't leave the house, and maybe I should try to move it because I have established I can move objects. This woman's an idiot. This movie's stupid. It's another Netflix crappy streamer. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your teenage daughter's time. There's better movies out there, folks. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Thank you for watching the video. I apologize a thousand times over for this weird lighting situation. What a disaster. Hopefully you can see past it. And hopefully the blinding light isn't affecting the subscribe button. You can hit that bad boy. And that way I'll show up in your feed in the future. If you love my videos, maybe think about becoming a patron at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Different tier offerings there. And it's the best way you can support this channel. All right. Hopefully I catch you next time.